Uh, hello, uh, welcome back. Um, okay, today <coughs> we are going to do some more, uh, do some metaphysical stuff. I mean, so far we focused on physical stuff, right? Numbers, but let's take a break from phys dealing with all this physical numbers. This numbers are more like physical lower level, right? Metaphysical level is abstraction, generalization, formulas. Okay, that's what we're gonna do today. All right. Um, so in the past, uh, to prove something, so you have two coordinate systems, right? Triangular coordinate, uh, and what we are doing is we are doing Euclidean algebra. Let's give it a name. Euclidean algebra or even Euclidean space, whatever. And we dealt with two coordinate system. It's a lattice coordinate system, okay? Uh, it's discrete, it's not continuous. It, it has what, column number, uh, column number and row number, right? We, we call that just coordinate. Okay, just like X and Y. Okay, uh, because it's very analogous. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of lattice coordinate. Okay, and we call that uh, Euclidean um, coordinate. Okay, in Euclidean triangle, we call it triangular coordinate. In Euclidean square, we call it square coordinate. Okay, you can call it Euclidean space, Euclidean algebra, whatever. Okay. And then um, we have this conversion formula, or you can call it like transform, which is very analogous to transformation of between two coordinates, okay? So we have that, so uh, in order to prove something in the square coordinate system, uh, we had to kind of exp export uh, that particular formula expressed in square coordinate system. We converted that into the triangular coordinate system and we proved it there. But this time, we're gonna do reverse. We have, because we have wealth of theorems and formulas in triangular coordinate system, uh, we're gonna import them into our square coordinate system and then prove it here in the square coordinate system, okay? We'll take that approach, okay? Why? Well, that's something new. And so, we always wanna try something new, you know? Um, today's what, Wednesday? I, I kinda of feel sleepy. Uh, nah. I feel very sleepy. Uh, okay. Whew. We can start by looking up the conversion theorem. Ah, boy, where's conversion theorem? Okay, come on, come on, John Okay, we can start from here. <clears throat> so, um,
I would rather just drive. I mean, reduction theorem is like A Euclidean B is equal to B Euclidean what A rho B. So how would we express that in Square coordinate, it be like a minus b plus one s b is equal to what b uh, b minus a rho b plus one S A rho B, right? Um, this kind of formula is very unwieldy, okay, so maybe it's not a good idea to try to prove something like import all the Euclidean formulas from triangle coordinate and import it to square coordinate and then try to prove directly in the square coordinate system. I don't think that's a good idea because it gets too complex very quickly okay so probably the best way is keep doing what we've been doing we need to uh we find some formula by looking at that uh, euclidean square the numbers we can come up with a lot of formulas maybe conjectures okay we we'll ex have to export <coughs> to triangular system okay and then prove it there because Euclidean formulas is expressed in triangular coordinate system and to convert it to square coordinate system, I think that's nightmares. Okay, so oh man, today I'm like very low energy. Uh, okay, so Okay. Yeah. And in terms of the periodic periodicity theorems, um, uh, probably it'd be just easier if we just start from scratch rather than trying to import from the triangle system to square system by using the conver conversion formula. Uh, yeah.
once we find some formula in scale system scale coordinate um we'll export using conversion formula uh we'll export that to triangular coordinate system okay and put a bit there in triangle world okay because that's where all our tools are the theorems okay but uh I feel the need to take a break because somehow I'm very low energy today, okay? Oh. Okay, let's take a break. I apologize. <clears throat> For being such a low energy today. Okay, um, I think it has, my low energy level has to do with the weather change because whenever it cooled down basically, it rained and then nowadays I was kind of chilly, look at me. Uh, when uh, there are temperatures change like from hot to co cool cool to hot 
uh, our, our body consumes extra energy in order to adjust to this brand new temperature change okay uh, I think that that kind of explains why I'm kind of low energy today because um, yeah today it really cooled down okay to 60s it used to be like 80s 20 degrees Fahrenheit overnight that's a lot of change I think that's why I'm kind of low energy um, Okay, let's find some formulas in the, the square system, okay? The square coordinate system. <coughs> we are talking about Euclidean square that we drew. <coughs> <coughs> now we're going to harvest um, some formulas. We harvested numbers, right? Now last episode. Now we're gonna harvest formulas. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, to find formulas. Uh, the easiest way to do it is we make examples, all right? We make individual examples and then we generalize it, all right? So first, easy stuff. Uh, we know 1e1, one e one, I mean 1s1, okay, we are in square system, 1s1 is equal to 2s1, so we have row number and then column number, okay, so row number corresponds to y, and x number corresponds to, okay, you have row, s, column, okay, it's like y, comma x so it's opposite from Cartesian coordinate system okay um, but <clears throat> that's how it is in, when we express matrix right ij i like a i j in matrix i corresponds to the row J corresponds to the column, right? <coughs> but in matrix, the difference is matrix is start from top to bottom, right? When you label row number, but uh, we in our square Euclidean square world. We start from bottom and we go to the top. Okay, so yeah. Similarities and differences. All right. So um, in general, equal dot 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 equal um row some random row s1 is always one okay now uh we have two s1 is one and then you have two s3 is also one dot 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 you have 2s, uh, 2k, two minus 1, they are, they are all 1, okay. <coughs> and um, the flip side of that is um, 2s2, is equal to 
2s4 is equal to dot 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 2s 2k by the way k, k is from um, 1 okay is equal to 2 okay Uh, we can prove this uh, using conversion formula and going back to Euclidean system. It will be very easy proof. Okay, using all the theorems in Euclidean algebra. Okay, because we 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 are ready to call it Euclidean algebra because we have discovered so many different theorems set of theorems that applies to Euclidean function, okay? Yeah, that's why it deserves the label of algebra. It's a separate branch of mathematics now. Okay. Yeah, Euclidean algebra. Now, Um, uh, I kind of regret having erased uh, that conversion formula, so let me just write it down. Um, okay. REC is equal to R minus C plus 1 SC, right? So let's try S R E zero, which is always zero, right? By definition. Um, then this is equal to R plus one S zero. Which means where R R is from one and on, right? Um, so looks like from two and on, something as zero is zero. Uh, well, we may need it later, or we we may not. Okay, we don't know. I was just curious. Okay. So so two S zero and on, like three S zero, they are all zero. Okay, if that's the case, we can start from K from zero, okay? K is zero. Okay, and we put this as a two k plus one because I don't want to use minus. I rather use plus. Okay. Oh, uh, but then we have problem here. Why two s zero is equal to two? No, no, uh, I don't think so. I. Then we better just keep on using one and keep and here you use minus one okay okay well rolling back <clears throat> we are doing a vertical periodicity okay
by the way, yesterday I said a lot of horrendous things about gay people. I don't hate them, okay? I hope they repent, but they tend to be extremely arrogant and proud. Like gay pride, you know. Uh, it's not my words, it's in the words of the Bible, okay? Pride comes before a fall, okay? So I hope they repent so that they don't fall. <laughs> I hope they repent. I, 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 I really hope they repent, okay? So that they don't fall, okay? Because, oh, boy. How about me? Am I too proud? Am I arrogant? There is nothing to be arrogant. Me? Am I smarter than people? Not necessarily. I know things that people don't know. But so do people. They know things that I don't know. A five-year-old child in Mexico, he knows more Spanish than I do. He got something to teach me in terms of Spanish. Okay. So, I know this. And everything I have is God's gift. Everything I know. God's gift. I don't deserve any credit for those things. Okay, I just happen to have good education. By the way, this New York uh, Congresswoman Ocasio, something like IAOC, Alexander Ocasio Cortez, I don't like her because she's so she looks so bitchy and she looks so crazy, arrogant. Okay, she is disgusting. Okay, she looks like a mad woman. Okay, so she's a communist. She's a socialist. Okay, so uh, my, if you ask me, I don't like her. Okay, she's arrogant. She looks so arrogant and evil. She looks like a snake. Satan. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Very arrogant. I just don't like her eyes. Look like snake eyes or shark. These black shark eyes. Soulless. Predatory. That's what she looks like to me. When I look at her eyes in this photo ops in the news, you know, whatever online news when i see her eyes what i see is the devil okay <laughs> i see satan devil in her eyes okay so i hope she repents i hope she get exorcised because she, obviously a lot of devils living in her inside of her eyes <laughs> yeah alexandra ocasio cortez congresswoman she looks like devil okay her eyes look like devils A lot of satans and devils living inside of her eyes. That's why, that's what I see when I see her eyes in this news, online news. Uh. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Isn't it funny to make fun of celebrities that's why i'm a huge fan of tabloid magazines because they make fun of celebrities you know it's so funny <coughs> oh man <sighs> maybe i'm in no condition to do this today but we'll take it slow okay okay well just for fun okay let's prove this guy okay let's just prove this guy okay oh uh, we have another conversion formula so I should write it down
Okay. Simple enough. It's fun, okay? So, RSC is equal to R plus C minus 1 EC. So, it's just like you have minus and plus, right? You're switching the order, so you have now plus and minus, okay? How interesting. So, 2s, 2k is equal to 2. We want to prove that when k is more k is more than zero, okay? It's an integer, right? So we are in the realm of number theory, so everything is integer, okay? So and most uh, mo most of times everything is positive integer, okay? Natural numbers. I mean, look at the table, the Euclidean, Euclid square, everything is positive numbers, positive integers, natural numbers. There's no zero there, okay? So, yeah. Okay, this is same as um, conversion formula. Add them, okay? 2 plus 2k. Minus 1, so 2k plus 1 e 2k. Is this equal to 2? When k is more than 0? This is what? Right hand side and this is left hand side. Let's prove it, okay? Proof. Two K plus one, I mean, left hand side is equal to. Uh, we have subtraction theorem, okay? This uh, like uh, <clears throat> it's vertical periodicity theorem, okay? It's a corollary of that. So subtraction theorem. This left hand is one e two K, okay? So. You subtract it, right? So, um, first draw. <clears throat> Whatever, okay, so this is what? 2K E, one row 2K, uh, plus one, right? Is equal to what is 1 row 2k? <clears throat> 1, right? k is more than 0, right? So it's like <clears throat> 2, 4, 5 is some e <clears throat> positive even number. Okay. So 2k1 e1 plus 1 <clears throat> is equal to 1 e2k uh, row 1 plus 2, right? That's the reduction theorem is equal to 1 e 0 plus 2 and by definition this is 0 right so this is 2 qd okay and which is right right hand side so qd yeah how nice right uh we can prove the same way it would be very tedious to prove everything and it's impossible to prove this for every case one by one because there are infinite number of them so what we need to do is come up with a generic formula okay and then we prove it all right
we generalize this horizontal periodicity in the square system, square coordinate system, okay, by using alphabetical letters instead of concrete numbers. <clears throat> there are some conditions, right? Like k is more than zero, that kind of condition. And then we prove it, you know, general formula. Then we can prove once and for all for everything, all the numbers. Okay, so first we need to come up with a formula, conjectural formula, hypothetical, hypothesis, hypothetical formula. Okay, so. It's nice formula. I mean, nice proof. Yeah, it's just revision. I mean, I'm, I mean, review. Yeah, we've done this multiple times before. Okay, so. Yeah, there's no need to write it down. Or, uh, maybe I should have taken a picture, but. But yeah, it's not that necessary. <clears throat> the proof it always goes like that. Okay, you use periodic theorem, PT and reduction theorem RT, okay? That's just the way it goes, so. Okay. So, Oh, okay. Let's do one more, shall we? Um, uh, three S one is um, four S one is. I'm mean, sorry. I think I messed it, messed up here. Um, I'm sorry. What just what I just proved here? Yeah, it's true. Okay, uh, but this is not what I meant. <laughs> It happened to me too, okay? So, in the second row is everything is two, right? I mean, as long as... Yeah, k is more than zero. Two, four, yeah, from two and on. Yeah, but... It's true, we prove something that is true, but that's not what I tried to prove, okay? So, I'm sorry. Totally low energy today. Oh. What I meant to say is uh, one s two in the you are looking at the second column, okay. One s two is I mean you are not you don't have that uh, Euclidean square with you. Well, then you need to go back to the our previous episode and take a screenshot and print print it out on a paper, okay? Uh, because I'm looking at it down there. Uh, to follow this along, you, you will need that, probably, okay? It'll be easier to follow, okay? So, 1s2 is equal to 3s2 is equal to blah, 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 is equal to uh, 2k minus 1s2, okay? That's what I meant to say. And then you have Well, two S two is equal to four S two. Two K S two, okay. And before that, we have. Uh, 
Uh, excuse me. Um, so what we notice already is the co coefficient for k corresponds to uh, the column, column number. Okay, you have one times k, and column is we are doing first column, third column. Okay. <clears throat> I really don't like this minus. Let me try to see oh, where, if there is a way to get rid of all this minus, okay. Well, K, <clears throat> we are in a world when K is um, larger than zero. How about K is larger than or equal to zero, okay? Then this will be like, I mean, there are good and bad, but uh, I think we should just stick to these guys because here you, you need like parentheses and uh, because in, in, in this convention, um, K 
corresponds to directly uh, corresponds to um, the row number okay when row is one you plug in one and you get that when row is two uh, no not really when row is two I mean K is two that's not second row no it's third row uh, then maybe this is superior convention okay oh because here you have some <clears throat> I mean, what's good about this convention is that when we apply the row algebra, <coughs> it's so easy when you divide by 3, yeah, remainder is just 1, 2, remainder is 0, right? So we are reducing one less step, okay, because in this, this kind of situation, to find the remainder, we have to add 3 add 3 to get rid of this negative okay uh, we will we'll, we'll use this convention okay so because it makes things simpler okay yeah. <clears throat> or maybe this I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> whatever um, Uh, but we can get rid of this parenthesis though. We can use um, 3k plus 3, right? Yeah, we, we'll use this guy, okay? I think it, it's more intuitive, okay? So 3k plus 3. Okay, start from 0, all right? It's, I'm, I'm sorry, 2k plus 2. Yeah. I think this is by far superior. Okay, so you can barely see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, but I'm reading this as I write it, so it shouldn't be too difficult to follow. Okay, so. <clears throat> I mean, I'm doing this for free for you. So. <laughs> That's what you get, okay? It's free, so your yeah, service is kind of poor, right? Oh, well. That's why I'd rather do it for free, okay? Because I don't want to provide a high quality service okay <clears throat> all right So basically what we are trying to say is this, okay, um, this is what, it's quite challenging, okay, so, uh, for example, Your divisor, right? So dk plus some remainder r actually sure no nk plus some number m 
S N it's some function some constant of I guess N and M but not K okay uh, where okay something like that all right so it should not depend on k at all all right so Oh boy. <clears throat> and what's this that what's that uh this is um msn okay so <clears throat> so n is the period <clears throat> like you have sine x right sine x is equal to sine <clears throat> x plus k times 2 pi right that 2 pi is right now n n is the period and when k k can be any number it can be 0 minus 1 plus 1 okay so uh, 2 pi is the period okay so so that's what we need to prove okay so this constant nm, forget about it. It is msn. Okay, so. Uh, but uh, this is not exactly correct. Because we are just looking at the very first thing, right? Um, um, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's this. Okay, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is correct. All right. Yeah. We're going to prove this, all right? Uh, this is uh, the 
vertical periodicity theorem in um, square coordinate, Euclidean square coordinate. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take a break and then we'll prove this. Okay, in you know another whiteboard. Okay, um, yeah, we are making very good progress here. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry about being low energy, but it's temperature change. Okay, so Yeah Yeah Okay <clears throat> Take five, okay? Oh.
Okay, we are back. Um, yeah, we found another whiteboard and try to prove that. We'll take it easy, nice and easy and slow today, okay? Um. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <sighs> I'm so low energy, all right, so but it's temporary to change. My body is kind of tired because it's taking extra energy to adjust to this temperature change, all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm in good spirit, okay? I'm comfortably low energy, all right? So. We need to prove this, all right? So. I told you it's kind of chilly. Let me grab my blanket, okay. Uh. Global warming or not, this is still Alaska, okay? I mean, it's July 2019 and look at me, heavy blanket over my legs my legs and cover my feet too i hope i don't accidentally erase that board full of numbers you could need then square numbers with this blanket i hope that don't, that doesn't happen Oh, yeah. prove this, okay? Okay, proof. Left hand side is equal to our conversion formula, okay? Add and subtract one. Okay, proof. Well, this is equivalent to that, right? Eh, we'll just spell it out, okay? Add and subtract one, okay. 
I'm sorry, it was it's supposed to be k plus one, all right. Okay. K plus one times n. Left hand side by period periodicity theorem. Okay. Right hand side, <laughs> this is so easy. By periodic theorem, subtract. Okay, so <sighs> it's the same as left hand side. QED, okay, it's like two line proof. Uh, it's understandable because. Vertical periodicity in Euclidean triangle is preserved in Euclidean square because we, all we are doing is to convert from triangle to square, so we just slide it down to the ground level or oh, like second column and on, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I write it down though because it's nice proof and it's important. So uh, now we can name this theorem, right? Uh, what is like vertical periodicity theorem in uh, in uh, square. You create the square, okay. You create the square, okay. How about this? You create the square vertical periodicity theorem, all right? So, yeah. Long name, amazing result. Okay, some. Advertisement slogan, I mean, in back in the day in Wisconsin, I think. Um. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Now that we proved it, uh, we don't need question mark anymore. So, I put it all in one line, okay? So it's one line of proof, which is great, yeah. Next, horizontal periodicity theorem, okay? Um, again, that'll be easy because it's that's equivalent to uh, vertical 
I mean, not known, diagonal periodic sort of theorem that we already proved. Okay, so. Um, do I? Let's prove it anyway. <gasps> I'm not going to take a picture of this because I, I feel lazy. All right, so. I wrote it down, so. Th there's no point of taking a picture of this. Uh, you could ask her, um, horizontal period is sort of theorem, okay, so. Well, first we need to come up with a nice formula, conjecture, okay, and to find a formula, uh, we need to make examples, all right, so, okay.
we'll just do two more lines and then we'll take a break, okay? Um, no, let's take a break now. Uh, this is... Yeah, we have to take it very slow today, okay? Because temperature change. Uh, I'm in good mood. I'm in good, I'm in good spirit, okay? So don't get me wrong. Don't think in terms of those psychology stuff, okay? Or well, seasonal change disorder, whatever. You have to forget everything that you learned in psychology because it's toxic. It's a bad knowledge, okay? Psychology is very poisonous, all right? It does not help you, but it's har it harms you, psychology. It's, uh, psychologism is one of the satanic ideology, okay? It's, destructive right so that's why we human knowledge opposed psychology okay so it's something very toxic all right so okay take five okay <clears throat> ah.
You know what? I'm gonna turn the heat off because it is cold. And I'm gonna put on the jacket too. Uh, okay. Look at me. Yeah, the temperature, the thermometer says it's 74 degrees, but uh, compared to yesterday, which is like 85, it's colder than yesterday, isn't it? So my body is not used to this kind of sudden temperature drop, like 10, 10 degrees. So. Huh? But finish this, all right? Um, why did I stop? Because Jesus said in New Testament, of course, uh, in the middle of your prayer, well, in human analogy, we interpret it as in the middle of some labor, work. If you remember you did something wrong to your friend, yeah, stop the prayer and apologize to that friend and then get back to work. Okay, so because, yeah, I said some stuff to my friends yesterday, so I kind of regret. So during the cigarette break, yeah, I emailed to my friend, yeah, I'm sorry that I said those things. Um, because it's too distracting when I'm working, but I kind of feel guilty about having said something rude to my friends, so it's very distracting, okay, so yeah, let's get rid of that distraction by apology, uh, then get back to work, you know, that kind of stuff, yeah. All right, so uh, 4 as 4 <clears throat> Next, uh, 4S5. And it has been has been good too. So now we are we are ready to generalize. Okay, so so as you can see, the periodicity. Well, by the way, k is from zero and on. Okay, so. Here we generalize here, okay? Uh, it's like uh,
This used to be a diagonal periodicity in a Euclidean triangular coordinate system. Okay, so it's two dimensional. Okay, that involves two variables. All right, so that's why it's trickier than uh, vertical periodicity because in vertical periodicity, the only variable is you know. Well, actually, there are two variables. Huh? Anyway, but yeah. Vertical periodicity, we fix the column and the row goes up, upstairs, right? And then we go to the next column, row goes up. But in a diagonal periodicity, uh, both the row and the column, they increase at the same time. Okay, so that's why. So we, we're going to have to introduce two variables. Okay, so. Uh, like this is your plus zero, right? You have to remember this three is the period of this periodicity, okay? And this is four minus one, all right? Period is two, okay? And it's three minus one here. How about that? Something like that, all right, so. <clears throat> so in Euclidean square, okay, um, um so let's take a break from mathematics okay so you know we all make mistakes right we say things that that's kind of mean rude but when i say those things yeah or when anybody say those things uh it has some positive impact it's about discipline infliction of pain okay so no pain no gain okay um you have to understand this, okay? Uh, do some people say mean things to me? Yeah. Do I feel the pain? Yes. But you have to be able to convert that pain into personal growth and character development, okay? Uh, so that's where psychology and humanology diverges. I mean, psychology and humanology, we are like exact mirror opposite like devil and angel kind of okay so pain in life is a good thing you should take advantage of the painful experience in your life in order to discipline yourself and strengthen yourself don't you remember like some old, old Chinese movies Kung Fu movies these martial art masters, they beat up their martial art students for no reason, right? It's about discipline, make strengthening, okay? Because that's what make you grow and stronger, okay?
Let's get back to this, okay? So, uh, yeah, just like secular wisdom, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So, you, you should have that kind of attitude, all right? So, so in human knowledge, we have many rules. Do not do tattoo, do not do piercing. All those rules, to abide by all those rules, many rules, that's not easy. Don't be gay, don't do tattoo, don't eat sugar, don't eat fat. That's very difficult to do. And that's what makes you stronger because it's very painful to observe all those rules. Okay? But without rules, there cannot be any sports or game. You play soccer, there are rules. You cannot touch the ball with your hand, you know? If you're a basketball player, you have to dribble. You cannot just grab the ball and run away. No, you have to dribble, right? Yeah, before you make, what, three steps, whatever. It's very difficult thing to do. Okay, those imposition of rules. But that's what makes game a game. Sports a sports. Life a meaningful life because there are rules okay so all right let's get back to this uh so uh we can say this guy is four s there are three lines right we are compacting it into one line by changing this 0, 1, 2 into a single variable, L. Okay? So, look at this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, blah, blah. So, um, Well, we need more room, so uh, three line in one line. Okay, so we have four S. Yeah, column. Okay, so C is equal to four S four plus three K. This zero, I think it has to do with four and seven. We can probably express this in terms of C, all right? Um, I, I'm guessing it's this guy, okay? Uh, C, row three. C, row 3, minus 1. Yeah. 4, 7, the, you divide by 3, right? What's the remainder? 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Now, so it's good that we only have one variable instead of C and L. Nah. 5, 8. They, we divide those numbers by 3, remainder is 2. 2 minus 1, 1. Okay. Now, 6 and 9, oops. Hey. How about? We have to do this. I'm sorry. There we go.
Okay. Uh, it, this is a very good progress we are making here because I think we found some formula for <coughs> diagonal periodicity in Euclidean triangle, right? I think uh, the way expressed diagonal periodicity in Euclidean triangle uh, probably is not the most efficient way that we expressed. Probably we can simplify using row algebra, okay? So we may go back to those formulas and refine that, simplify it, uh, but we are not going to, okay? We'll leave that to some other mathematicians or other people like you and some other people, okay? So, uh, because we are going to focus on uh, Euclidean square because it's superior, okay? Because it says also diagonal periodicity, horizontal periodicity, vertical periodicity, when Euclidean triangle did not have any horizontal periodicity. Okay, so. Okay. Now we are ready to generalize even further. Okay. It will look like this, okay? RSC is equal to No, we have rho, so do we want to use R? Well, I think it's okay because rho is Greek letter and R is English letter, so maybe it's okay, huh? RSR plus 3k plus c rho r minus 1 plus r minus 2 rho r minus 1 And R, uh, you should start, probably start, should start from 2. Let's see if it works for number 2, okay? So... And C, what's the range is for, for C? C, um, C, We already have this, right? K is from zero and on. Okay. Let's apply, plug this number when um, R is two, okay? So. Okay, so. Two S C is equal to two S two plus um, I'm sorry, it's not 3K, it's uh, R minus 1K, okay. One times K plus um, C rho R minus 1, what is R? 2, so 0, 1, uh, plus uh, 2 minus 2, 0, rho 
1 c row 1 where that's 0 okay 0 row 1 is 0 so this is like a 2s2 plus k which is that so okay it works for this guy uh, let's do one more for when r is equal to 3 and then we'll take a break okay so 3 s c is equal to 3 s 3 plus 2 k plus c row uh, 2 plus 1 row 2 okay Uh, we'll do three cases, okay? So when C is three and four and five, we'll just do real quick, and then we'll take a break. I promise. Okay, so three S three is equal to three S three plus two K plus three row three plus one row two is what? 3 row 3, 0, 1 plus 1 row 2 is 1. Um, ah, no, it's not quite working, huh? My bad. This is two. Okay. So. 
plus r minus one. Okay, so sorry. So yeah, one plus one. Yeah, that's zero. Okay, so one more. Uh, two more. Okay, uh, three s four is equal to three s three plus two uh, ten plus four row two plus one row two. Yeah, this becomes plus one. So that's good. How about three s five? Zero. Okay, one plus one. Two row two is zero. Okay, so three s five. Boom. Done. It's beautiful. It works beautifully. It works so beautifully. Okay. We have row algebra and we have Euclidean algebra. Okay. Uh, by all means, go ahead and publish. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I may try to publish one day, but probably not. Okay. Because I want to keep on moving. I want to keep on rolling, okay, but I may try, okay, just for a change, maybe, just like me having a haircut, I may try to publish it, okay, that's possible, but it's possible, but um, I'd rather just keep on discovering as an unknown person, because writing this paper takes a long time and if I publish it and if it gets published I may become famous and they will be wasting my rest of my time okay it be distraction okay because if I'm known then I have to deal with all these people who knows me who wanna talk to me okay so it's more efficient if I'm not famous I will be discovering more and more stuff if I'm not famous at all. Okay, so um, probably it's not a good idea that I publish it. Okay, I think it's just a waste of time. Okay, so but you you are more than welcome to publish it. Okay, you're encouraged to publish this. Okay, with your name on it. Okay, not my name, but you want to mention me in footnote. You you may, but you don't have to. All I'm asking is you acknowledge that you got this from somebody else. Okay. Because I got this from God, Jesus, whoever, okay? So, Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus. All right. Now, now that we have a nice formula for this horizontal periodicity, you know, Euclidean, Square, and also that corresponds to, to the diagonal periodicity in Euclidean triangle system. Okay, uh, we're gonna prove this. Okay, so it's beautiful. Okay, it's it works beautifully. So I am compared to take a picture of this. Okay, because uh, and also we'll switch out the whiteboard. Okay, because using we are doing raw algebra and also Euclidean algebra raw algebra servicing solving Euclidean algebra it is just beautiful okay so yeah I like this you know we're gonna take a break so let me stand up to avoid this glare point <clears throat> okay you know i i'm heating on my house now it's like 83 degrees and it feels just right
because yesterday it was like 83 degrees and yesterday I was hot when it was like this and now that my body is kind of readjusted to hot temperature yesterday now I'm very comfortable because today is just like yesterday I mean right now because I heated up my house to 83 degrees which was like yesterday so strange huh oh well I really really like this okay and I'm looking forward to prove this okay and then um, we'll be happy okay happy, we'll be happy camper okay so uh, we we'll take five to ten minutes break okay so all right yeah
Okay. Uh, get back. Um. Uh, well, you don't wanna block that wonderful view back there. Um. But I will put on my socks because I want to insulate my feet. I don't think it's necessary to turn back on that heater. I turned it off. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, we need to switch out this board, huh? Okay. Yeah, let's switch it out. What board do we use? Uh, the board back there. I'm kind of recovering, okay? As you can see, I become more and more energetic, right? Yeah, fatigue, right? Yeah, recovering from the fatigue of the day. Uh, I ate something before recording, and now, I guess it's, my body was digesting this food, and now it's kind of partially digested, so I'm getting more energy from this food. I ate, so I guess that's what it was. All right. Hey, we don't, we don't need all this crap. So we're gonna prove that thing, okay? And ah uh, man, I wanna put on a jacket, okay? So. Mm. Okay. <sighs> okay. Good. Should I should I put a scarf on my neck? Maybe I should. Just for the left. Just for the left, I'll do it for you to make you laugh. This is July 2019 in Alaska, okay? And um, global warming or not, it's Till Alaska okay so I have my excuse <laughs> the, the temperature is like 82 degrees by now because I heated it up probably 80 degrees 79 whatever <sighs> well so we're gonna prove that what Euclidean square uh, horizontal periodicity theorem okay yeah it's not theorem yet because we didn't prove it, but we know it is true, okay? So RSC RSR plus R minus one K plus C rho R minus one plus R minus two rho R minus one when C R two comma K zero okay I wrote it big so that you can read it, okay, so I, I should have started over here, but eh, whatever. When we prove, yeah, we will start way back there 
I like this edible grass vodka. Okay, it's fantastic. I love this pollen. It's like cereal, you know. Yeah, great grains. I really like this. I mean, it's not sweet because these grasses they don't get pollinated by honeybees. They get pollinated by wind. Okay. It doesn't have much flavor, just grass, freshly cut grass, kind of spring green, you know, fresh fla flavor. Okay, so, all right, let's let's prove this thing. Okay, uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so this guy is equivalent to. Now it's too hot. This guy is equivalent to. Um, where is our conversion formula, man? Uh, it's like add and my subtract one, right? Let me double check because we don't want to screw this up. Okay, add and subtract one. Okay, so oh boy. I want my scarf back. I'm a temperature pussy, okay? I'm I tremble at one Fahrenheit degree difference, okay? Just like a tremble at in Walmart, one penny difference. I wanna turn the heater back on, I'm sorry. I just cannot concentrate when when it's cold, colder than I want it to be. Okay, now we are ready. Ah. I'm wearing white pants, so I be have to be very careful with this pen, okay? Because I don't want to ruin my white pants. You know, color white, have you ever dre dressed in white? I have, when I go to a ball, some dance ball, okay, some formal event. Yeah, I dress in white pants white suit when i was in law school we went to this i mean i i went there by myself but we have this ball law school ball okay the formal dressed up kind of event yeah i, I even had white hat with a feather so i bought this white hat from amazon and i bought this feather in amazon and i stick it in there <laughs> kind of sew it together so it stays okay so yeah white white hat like long rim white hat white suit white pants white tie and black black long sleeve shirt i like that stuff okay it's nothing that expensive you know yeah but white color is so easily marred, easily tainted, because white is colorless color, so uh, that's why white color stands out, okay? Yeah. I'm not talking about racism or politics or even religion, no, it's pure science, okay? That's why whiteboard, we have whiteboard and white piece of paper uh, so that we can write things down, okay? White is the only colorless color, the most vulnerable color, okay? That's why it stands out, because it means it's pure, okay? It's very difficult to keep your white pants white because it's so easily tainted with all different colors, with red, green, blue, 
brown, black, gray. So to keep your white clothing white is high maintenance, you know. Again, I'm not a white supremacist. I'm just talking physics, science, logic. <laughs> okay, so stop crying racism, okay? Because we are doing science and mathematics. <laughs> There's no room for racism. And hyper anti-racism. Stop crying racism, okay? So, all right? And do, do not hate white people, okay? And if you are ethnic man, don't mess with young, beautiful white girl either, okay? So leave them to white guys, okay? So that they preserve and protect the white race, okay? So, but they are beautiful, okay? So, yeah. And don't get any tattoos, all right? So, no piercings either. And yeah, let's forget about all that shit. All right. So, left hand side is equal to what? Add and subtract. Okay, R plus C minus one. Uh, e. C. Euclid, right? Two R minus one S R. I mean E R. Plus R minus one. Well, we gotta be very careful with the font size, okay? We are using mountain notation, mountain symbol, mountain notation, all right? Subscript. Proof. I'm very, I'm very excited, really. We always go, for, go after the complex one, okay? Because we want to simplify the complex one, all right? So, right hand side, okay, is equal to. Okay, subtraction theorem, which is a corollary of periodicity theorem, okay, so, I mean, vertical periodicity theorem. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, distribution theorem, all right? Row distribution theorem. Okay. This is equal to. Uh, R is like two and on, okay? So this guy, R minus one is like one and on. So it's positive number, it's less than R. Uh, well. Uh, no, not that yet. Okay, so R minus one, row R, which will be R minus one, okay? So we'll do step by step, okay? Proof. 
plus we need some more room okay contraction theorem rho contraction theorem okay so this guy is just cr i mean c rho r minus one rho contraction theorem okay plus r minus two is like zero o and on zero zero or more okay um so if we if we uh, divide zero by some number what's the remainder zero right other than that r minus two is less than r minus one okay so uh this one is just r minus two okay so r minus two is between zero and less than r minus one okay so uh that's um row reduction theorem okay so we already proved that shit okay so it's also definitional so now row r minus one okay are we circling are we circling yeah we did circle we are we are back to where we started oh my goodness what a waste whatever okay so we'll keep marching we keep marching okay so um this is uh r minus one is what more than one 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 and above okay so divide by r is r minus one is row reduction theorem okay so e r r minus one plus r minus one k plus dido I, let's just write it out okay all right so and uh what is this guy um i we forgot plus one okay plus one because we used the Euclidean reduction theorem, okay, so So okay, plus one, all right, so So it's not that simple, huh? That's fine. Hmm. We keep moving, okay? So, you know, I don't like keep doing like this, okay? So, we realize we are circling, okay? So, this guy, we are not quite reducing it. So, we're gonna. We're gonna just focus on this this guy okay so sorry because we have limited space we have to be very conservative about the space in this whiteboard okay so we have whiteboard and we have black pen okay so i'm not racist okay so i love blacks and whites okay so or browns, I love every races, 
I love people, okay? Uh, observe, okay? Observe. This guy. 2R minus 1, E, R is equal to R minus 1, E, R by uh, periodic solid theorem, okay? Which is equal to by reduction theorem, R, E, R minus 1, rho, R, Plus one, which is equal to. All right, now. Now. Row R. I, mean, I minus one row R. What is this? This, this is R minus 1, okay? So, yeah, you know, we're not going to even write this because R minus 1 is more than 0, right? And less than R, so this is equal to R minus 1 rho R is R minus 1, okay? So this is equal to R E R minus 1 plus 1, okay? By uh Row reduction theorem, okay? Here you have Euclidean reduction theorem, Euclidean periodicity, whatever. Okay? Now, uh, this guy is equal to uh, by reduction theorem, Euclidean reduction theorem, okay? R minus 1, E, R, rho, R minus 1, okay, plus 1, which is equal to, what is this, R divided by R minus 1, what's the remainder, I mean, you can use raw periodicity theorem, okay? R rho R minus 1 is equal to subtracted, okay? So, R minus parenthesis R minus 1. What is it? 1 rho R minus 1, okay? Which is what? 1. Why? By rho reduction theorem, okay? Because R minus 1... It's like one, two, three, okay. Ah, uh, no, it could be zero, huh? Okay. When R is two, one row two, one row one, it, it could be zero. Oh man. Oh okay. Ah. Uh. We have to limit the range of our proof a little bit, okay? So, we did that this before, right? Um, yeah. When R is 2, the special one case, we'll, we have to prove it separately, okay? <laughs> Which is very easy. <coughs> but uh, for our purpose, um, we're going to have to limit our range okay we'll put this as three okay to make this proof easy all right so now r minus one is like two and on so yeah this is as one okay so like three divided by two what's the remainder one four divided by three what's the remainder one okay so 
But two divided by one, the remainder is zero, right? Uh, that's why we have to separate it out because to prove when r is equal to two, that's piece of k, and we'll do it, okay? Uh, but for general case, yeah, we have to separate it out. Okay, so okay. I'm getting real hot now, um, but we'll do a little bit more and then we'll take a break, okay? So. Oh, I'm hot. Ooh. Oh. Take off some layers. You know, let's take a break now, okay? Because my computer is overheating too, it's overrunning its fan, so. Let me turn the turn off the heater and ventilate the air and we'll take a break, okay? I care about my computer, so ah boy.
Okay, we're back. I kind of feel sad because in my side, right side yard, there was this nice burgeoning, budding, brand new red currant. Red currant, this seedling, but I don't see it anymore because it was outgrown, outweeded by all this tall grasses so I, I don't see it anymore okay so I, I'm kind of sad because red currant it makes wonderful berries but I guess it died by shaded by all these tall growing grasses oh well I have some other spots back there where red currant is in my backyard so that's fine but red currant, oh, it's delicious berries. This raisin, like it looks like grapes. Raisin, oh, it's fantastic. Red currant, yeah, they're, they're delicious. They're so good. You need to farm that, okay? Red currant. There are many other different kinds of cur currants, like stink currant, which is great. Yeah. Uh, it's something different. I, I had that in Alaska, okay, wild stink current. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So we limited our range, okay? Yeah, we proved when R is two. Yeah, that's a piece of cake, okay, so very special case, easy proof, okay, so, but for general case, we have to restrict ourselves. R start from three, okay? And so this guy is what? R minus one, E one, um, uh, plus one. Is what? By, That's by a uh, row reduction theorem. This was row reduction theorem. Okay. Uh, okay. One e r minus e row one plus one. Um, did I make any mistake? Uh, because this is. 1 is 0 <laughs> plus 1 which is what 1 I'm um, 2 uh, 1 uh, no that's too strong a result I must have made some mistake okay because we have 15 minutes left okay so but we may just continue okay so Oh no, no, we are just, this, this is just one part of this whole equation, okay, so, yeah, that's fine, alright, so, yeah, it can be one, <laughs> okay, this whole thing is just one, okay, so. When R is three and more, okay, so, then, this right hand side, therefore, Right hand side is equal to um, one plus I minus one K plus C rho R minus one plus I minus two rho R minus one. Okay, so that's right hand side. <coughs> Now, now, left hand side, because all, we don't have to understand why it is so, 
we just need to prove it metaphysically okay if left hand side end up being the same as right hand side we are done okay so limited liability we don't have to understand all the gory details okay we just need to prove it left hand side is same as right hand side okay so uh by reduction theorem r minus one e c you just subtract and see okay so which is, which is uh by reduction theorem okay c e uh, r minus one rho c plus one okay it does quite look like they are the same okay we need to get it okay okay oh boy How on earth do we get rid of K, man? Oh, man. Uh, we may have to use our diagonal periodicity theorem in Euclid, the triangular coordinate, okay, because I'm at a loss. Oh, let's see. Or we may have to use mathematical induction because this is going nowhere. We cannot get rid of k this way because k is standalone, it's not part of rho or e. So we cannot get rid of k easily. All right. Um, we may have to resort to mathematical induction. All right. So. Okay, let's start over, all right? Because let's try mathematical induction, okay? Mathematical induction is used for proving something very difficult. Like we recognize some pattern, but we don't know how, why that is the case. We don't need to understand it. We just need to prove it, okay? That's mathematical induction. So we have to start it over, okay? Yeah, let's try mathematical induction, okay? So because this formula works, okay? We verified it with many examples so we just need to prove it okay so but there are two erasers i don't know why we don't we don't need this guy okay so let's put this guy away okay so i put it in that empty patch of empty, empty patch of square in that euclidean square okay so Perfect spot for magnetic eraser and this holder. So 
So assume this is true, okay? Assume this is true. Well, first we need to pr prove that when number one, okay, number one, when I mean, if or k is equal to zero, starting point, right? And then leads to um, does not help very much. Right hand side is equal to what? 2r minus 1 er plus 0 r minus 1 plus r minus 2 rho r minus 1, okay? We can't prove this, didn't we? Isn't it like one? Okay, so uh, that's like one plus that. Well, we we proved this guy is one, right? Left hand side. I'm lost, totally. Well, right hand side, okay, let's just do some scratch work, okay, that's like C rho R minus 1 using the distribution theorem, okay, and plus 1 rho R minus 1, okay, so left hand side just for fun okay
Is this correct? Is 2R minus 1 E R is always 1? Let's take R is 5, okay? So 9E 5 is equal to what? Absolute value of 9G 5, okay? Is equal to what? Automatic stuff, right? 5G and divide by, yeah, that's 4, is equal to 4G 1 is equal to what? 1G 0 is equal to define as well. This is 3, okay? So that that's not correct. I, I don't know how we prove that shit. Oh man, this whole mathematics that we built collapsing before my eyes. I, oh my goodness, what a mess. Where did we all err? Let's let's see this, okay? Because it's my fault, my bad, okay? I made some mistakes. It's me, okay? When something go wrong, it's my fault, okay, so. All right, so two R minus one, E R, is equal to, by using periodicity theorem, right? Uh, so you subtracted R minus one, E R, okay? Uh, by using reduction theorem, okay, you have R E, R minus one rho R, plus one okay and when r is three and above okay r minus one is two and above okay so uh this becomes two by row reduction theorem r e one plus one okay um in Euclidean triangle you have fourth column no matter what row it is it's one right so this is equal to actually two uh that's like uh what one e uh, R row one plus one, right? By reduction theorem, okay, so plus two, okay, so and that is equal to um, what's R row one? Zero. R divided by one, remainder zero, okay, so E one zero.